news obtaining new documents that reveal President Trump plans to sign an executive order that will reverse an Obama-era policy, which currently restricts local police from getting military-style guns and equipment. The document states, quote, the gear recycled through the Department of Defense's 1033 program includes everything from ammunition and vehicles to office supplies. Under that program, assets that would otherwise be scrapped can be repurposed to help state, local, and tribal law enforcement to better protect and, and serve public safety and reduce crime. Katie Pavlich is an editor for townhall.com and Fox News contributor. Katie, good morning to you. Good to see you, Sandra. So what do you make of this move by President Trump? Well, I think it's important to point out that this program has been around for a very long time before President Obama decided to put a hold on it, essentially. It was implemented in the 1990s as a way for local law enforcement to carry out raids in a safer, more productive way. As we have the Justice Department now going after the opioid crisis and the administration making that a priority, it's not surprising that they would try to re-implement this. But President Obama's argument for taking it off of the table was that it creates distrust between local communities and local police if they're over-militarized. That's a fine and fair argument to make. However, the police would argue that in the age of terrorism response and rioting, they have to be prepared with the equipment they need to stop riots from turning into full-fledged chaos, as we saw in Ferguson. And so that's why the president is going uh, and re-looking at this. And I'm sure Attorney General Jeff Sessions will lay out all of the reasons why they think it's a good idea to reinstate the long-standing program. And, and Fox News is reporting that this is something uh, very near and dear to the Attorney General Jeff Sessions' heart. He feels very strongly about this, Katie, and uh, he's going to be announcing this, uh, according to our reporting, at a speech to the National Conference of the Fraternal Order of Police in Nashville. Because, Katie, we have seen national police groups very vocal about this and pushing right. for this move. Well, we have to keep in mind that the Department of Justice can hand down uh, directives and policies surrounding how these local departments apply for these grants that pay for this military equipment. Local law enforcement departments also have standards and procedures around when they use this type of equipment. And we're talking about leftover ammunition, body armor, shields, in some cases grenade launchers, which people think, oh my gosh, local police are going to have grenade launchers. They're not going to use them for grenades. They're going to use them for tear gas. And when you look around the country and in Charlottesville most recently, there was a lot of criticism of the local police and their response and not being able to get ahead of the rioting that eventually happened there. So it is a balance, and I'm sure that the Attorney General will lay out their case. But again, I want to stress, this is not something that the Trump administration is really changing or, or putting forward that's any different than administrations prior to the Obama administration. And in fact, throughout President Obama's, the majority of his term, seven years of his first and second term, he had this policy in place because it's something that had worked in pre uh, previous administrations, George W. Bush and Bill Clinton. So the Trump administration is simply reverting back to something that they saw used against the drug war in the 90s. Yeah. Going into the 2000s, they will certainly use against the opioid crisis so, here in 2017. So very simply, uh, the president is undoing a ban that was already put on this uh, by, the, right. uh, by the Obama administration. Officials pointing out further to Fox News, most of this equipment, as you said, Katie, is defensive in nature or used in search and rescue and disaster relief, such as, by the way, what we're seeing down in Houston right now. Mm -hmm. Katie Pavlich, thanks right. for being here. Thanks, Good to see you.